Welcome viewers. Welcome to the session where we are going to fillet a fish. After the session, you will be able to properly fillet a fish. To start with, we'll first wash the fish properly. Removing the scales of the fish. To remove the scales, take your knife, the blunt edge of the knife, put it at 45 degree angle and against the scales you need to move the knife forward against the scales not along the scale but against the scales at a 45 degree angle from the blunt side of the knife the scales will slowly start coming off as you can see over here scales have started coming off and slowly as you go move forward scales will easily come off so we have come to the end of one side of the fish and similar thing will be repeated on the other side as well after removing the scales just check for the cleanliness of the scales now we have finished with scaling of the fish from both sides to check just move the knife without any pressure over the flesh of the fish and you will have a clean scaled fish. Gutting a fish. To gut a fish look at the fish from the stomach side. You will find a small hole somewhere in the stomach side. Here this is a fish called Rehu. It is a small hole over here. So taking your knife, slightly piercing it through this place, pass on the knife, slitting the stomach as it goes forward till the head of the fish opening the stomach use your knife to scrap out the internal organs that you may see in the fish generally these organs come out very easily using the knife and you don't need to put your hand inside in that case but in case it does not come out or something is left then you need to use your hand when you do this you will also find a black line of blood over here this needs to be removed by pressing your thumb over the bones of the fish otherwise this blood when cooked along with the fish it makes the dish bitter in taste so you need to remove that blood after gutting the fish you need to wash it again wash the fish under the running water to clean out all the internal organs and the blood that has dripped out the washing should be done properly to fillet a fish place the fish like this on the chopping board use the tip of the knife and feel the center bone and slightly slit through the center bone do not apply too much of pressure or do not go too deep and slit through the center bone coming to the tail of the fish using the tip of the knife just go through the flesh feel the bones and let the tip of the knife do the work
make a slant cut on the head from the tail hold the turn the fish on the other side and repeat the same process From a flat fish, you will get four fillets, and from a round fish like rehu, we get two fillets. After taking out the fillet, trim the sides of the fish fillet to remove the inedible parts from the fillet. Any bones, if you find, need to use a plucker to remove the bones as well. Now the next step is to remove the skin of the fish. Now for this process we apply some salt so that you have a firm grip on the tail of the fish and using a knife at a 45 degree angle slightly slit through the flesh not going deep through the skin of the fish and when you feel you have reached the skin at a 45 angle degree just go through a saw movement through the flesh of the fish. Take care not to slit the skin. Otherwise, you will not be able to peel off the skin properly. Saw movement. The salt helps you to hold the tail of the fish properly. skin and only the fillet. This will repeat with the other fillet of the fish. Apply some salt, hold the tail of the fish at a 45 degree angle, slit through the flesh as you reach the skin, go through a saw movement and Initially when you are doing it for the first time, do it very slowly, otherwise you may cut your hands. The, fillet, the skin bones of the fish should not be thrown away. It can be used for the preparation of the stock. The fillet can be used for further other preparations. I am sure now you will be able to scale a fish, eviscerate the fish and take out fillet from the fish. Thank you for watching.